On Monday, the 23rd of March, 2020, the UK suddenly went quiet. Planes stopped droning, streets emptied, traffic died away and schools silenced. A hush descended onto the country and the natural world breathed a sigh of relief and bloomed and blossomed. It was the start of a free month countrywide lockdown to attempt to resist the coronavirus. But then, on the following Thursday evening, came a tumult of noise. Cheers, flattering, clapping, pan bashing, bagpipe bells and the crashing of drums all resounded around us. This was the Thursday night clap for carers. A noisy eruption that lasted ten weeks. Well, the Thursday evening clapping. I really enjoyed it. It was a lovely chance to see all the neighbours in the same place at the same time, which rarely happens usually. It was surprising how many different instruments turned up as it went on and always accompanied by pots and pans left over from the clapping. It was nice. It was like we were all in it together. This clap was extended to all the key workers helping keep the country running. Anne-Marie Platt posted, Tonight we will show our appreciation again for all that go out to work so we can stay in. I think that it was lovely to show support for the key workers who are putting themselves at risk and making huge sacrifices. But I think in practical terms perhaps they could have benefited from better pandemic management skills from the government more so than a clap. I wondered at the time whether what I was doing was was a tribute to the NHS or simply a welcome break to the quietness of my life at that time, or perhaps a mixture of both. I found it provoked an emotional response, similar to being at weddings or funerals. I was a bit sad when it started to peter out. I banged my sieve but couldn't hear anyone else out there. (laughs) 